the British Empire just issued a super secret technical capability notice to Apple, which makes a shocking demand for the creation of a backdoor to access users' encrypted iCloud data globally. The Crown wants to drink your Apple juice, and it not only affects the Redcoats, but literally everyone in the world who can afford to be an Apple customer. And it's a shot over the bow for those who use end-to-end -end encryption apps like Telegram, Signal, WhatsApp, and so on. The UK believes it has the right to blanket access to everyone's private data globally, thanks to the Investigatory Powers Act of 2016, which grants 00 agents at MI5 and MI6 god mode hacking capabilities, and forces internet service providers to retain a record of all the websites you visit, with many other mass surveillance powers. What's even more crazy, though, is that it's illegal for Apple to even disclose or talk about this demand, and that means it must have leaked to the media through some kind of whistleblower. In today's video, we'll find out what it all means for iCloud users, the amazing technology behind end-to-end -end encryption, and how to prevent James Bond from getting a hold of your private data. It is February 7th, 2025, and you're watching The Code Report. Nobody but Apple knows how much data is stored in iCloud, but it's easily into the exabyte scale. Most of this data is stored with regular encryption, where it's encrypted in transit when you upload it, and then encrypted at rest on the server, with the private keys to decrypt it stored in an Apple data center. The government's all good with that, because in theory they could break down Apple's doors with muskets and force them to give up the private keys to access your data. But in 2022, Apple started offering a new service called Advanced Data Protection that the government doesn't like. It uses end-to-end -end encryption, where the key difference is that you manage the keys, which means that not even Apple could access your data at musket point. That's great if you care about privacy as an end user, but the one drawback is that if you lose your key, you could also lose your data. But end-to-end -end encryption is nothing new. PGP, or Pretty Good Privacy, was developed back in 1991 and has been used to keep emails private, but more recently, messaging apps like Signal and WhatsApp use a double ratchet algorithm where you have a root key ratchet that generates new key pairs for each message, and then a sending receiving chain ratchet that derives message keys, which not only provides end-to-end -end encryption, but also guarantees that a compromised key can't decrypt past or future messages. That provides forward secrecy, and the surveillance state hates it. Until quantum computers break silicon encryption, there's not much the government can do to get access to your data unless you slip up and make a mistake, or they ban technology like this outright. And the UK is going with the latter approach. But the big question is, will Apple actually cave to the pressure? There's plenty of reasons to hate on Apple, but compared to other big tech companies like Meta, they've done a much better job protecting user data. Like in 2016, even after the mass shooting in San Bernardino, Apple refused to comply with the Department of Justice to unlock his phone. The FBI wanted them to build an iOS backdoor, to which they refused, but the FBI eventually paid a third party over a million dollars to hack into it. In any case, it's highly unlikely that Apple would just comply with this technical capability notice. What seems most likely is that they'll reach some kind of compromise, where Apple discontinues advanced data protection to residents of the People's Republic of the UK. Now, if you truly care about privacy and believe it's a fundamental human right and are totally not doing illegal stuff, there's a few things you should do. One, make sure to use end-to-end -end encryption for all your communications, using apps like Signal, and also make sure to use full disk encryption on your hard drive. You'll want to use a trusted VPN with a strict no-logs policy, and you should only browse the internet with the Tor browser over the Onion network, which will anonymize your traffic with your ISP, which in the UK is legally required to track which websites you visit. Although the ISP can see that you use Tor, which might put you on some kind of MI5 watch list. And whenever possible, do this with an operating system that has amnesia, like Tails OS, which runs off a USB and wipes everything from memory, which will prevent authorities from doing a cold boot attack after they bust in your door. Privacy is a beautiful thing, and it's all made possible through the magic of math and computer science. And you can start mastering both of these concepts for free today, thanks to this video sponsor, Brilliant. In my opinion, the best way to learn is to learn by doing. And you can make that an easy daily habit with Brilliant's short, rewarding lessons. If you're interested in cybersecurity and encryption, I'd recommend progressing through their math courses, which are suitable for learners of all levels. Then take that knowledge and learn how to use it in practical ways in the applied Python course. By the end of it all, you'll understand how to solve problems like a programmer in the real world. And best of all, you can do it in just a few minutes each day from the comfort of your phone. Try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for 30 days by going to brilliant.org slash fireship or use the QR code on screen. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.